Hi there, thanks for joining me. In this video, we'll take a look at value. Value is a measurement of dark to light in the sense of color or in a painting. Um, you can have different values. Um, you can have colors that are different values. For instance, we could have a light blue or we could have a dark blue. And the difference is the value, the lightness or the darkness in the color. So in your color picker here, I want you to make sure that you're displaying as HSV and not RGB. So you can switch that here in this little uh, menu here in your color picker, change it to display as HSV. And that is your hue, your saturation, and your value. And we'll just be paying attention to value in this video. Uh, your value is this vertical axis here if you hug the left side of your color picker. And you can see it changes from white to black. And this slider bar here at the bottom, this V slider, moves forwards and backwards. So value is a very important thing because you need to be able to use value um, intentionally and you need to use the right amounts of it. So for instance, if we wanted to create a three-dimensional sphere, we're first going to need just a basic sphere shape. And then I'll go ahead and label this sphere. If we want to shade it, we're going to have to add some value. Otherwise, this could just be a flat puck. We don't really know that this is three-dimensional. So as we start adding value, we'll start to see it take shape. Now still it's not clear that this is three-dimensional, so let's add some light value here. Now it's starting to get close. In fact, it looks pretty 3D. Just by adding those couple of spots, we've now made this thing appear as if it's a three-dimensional object. And if we add some more value to it, the more value we add, the more contrast we add to the piece. The contrast is related to value in that the more contrast you have, the more difference in value you will have obtained in your artwork. So you want this whole thing here, this whole swatch, you want all of these different values in your piece if possible. And you, these can be incorporated into colors too, but you want as much of this range as possible that will make your artwork look really really good and really realistic so I'll add some white here so we know we have a lot of black and a lot of white and everything in between we can go ahead and blend it up just to make sure that we have even more contrast and there you go you can see we have a really nice looking sphere now if we make another sphere let's do one down here Go ahead and fill it in a similar way. If we add improper contrast and we don't add enough value, let's maybe just say we add a little bit here and you know, we do something like that, you can see the difference in how flat this lower sphere looks. This one here doesn't have really enough contrast. We haven't used enough of this value scale and it just doesn't look good. So if your stuff's looking flat, you're not going, you're not using enough of this value slider here. And when you start getting into colors, it kind of starts to limit the color you can pick. When we get towards this end here, the right end, this is just really bright saturated color. So you really won't be able to see too much of a difference in value here. Um, but let's take a look at it in a color sense too delete some of these things. So if we're painting something like a tree, for instance, maybe we'll go ahead and put in a sky color for the background. And we'll make a tree trunk here really quick. Something quick and easy. And we'll put some leaves on it. So we can use pretty much any color we want. Starting out, we'll just 
pick a green here and put something in. And now if we want it to look three dimensional, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change the value of our color. So right now we have a pretty dark green. So what we want to do is we want to just change the value. So we want to go straight up. So we'll just drag our little target upwards. It doesn't have to be exactly straight. And when we have something that's lighter in value, we can go ahead and paint that on. And you can see that by doing that, we've kind of implied some three dimensionality here. Now, of course, we could go through and blend this and make it look a little better. Increase the contrast and there you go. We've got kind of a little bit of a tree. Uh, we can increase the value even more, go further up and add some more highlights some of the leaves. Now this is not how I would paint a tree normally. I'm just kind of showing you this as an example, but it gives you an idea of how we can use value. We can do the same thing on the tree trunk. If we want this to look three-dimensional, we have our color here that we're starting out with. We'll go straight down to get a darker value, and we'll paint in a shadow. anywhere we want it. If we want to highlight, sample our original color. I'm using Alt on my keyboard to sample. We'll go straight up. Now we have a highlight color. That's a lighter value. So it's the same color, it's just lighter or darker in value. So where we have this scale here, uh, this scale could really be a scale for any color. So for instance, we could do something like this. This could be our base color here. Oops. We could paint in this brown. And you can see that we get this whole range of browns now based on this one swatch here. So anyways, I hope this was helpful. Uh, it helps you understand how to pick color. If you want some more information on color theory and choosing color, uh, you can watch my video on color theory. I'll put a link to that in this video description. If you found this information useful, take a quick second to like this video and share it on YouTube or Facebook, and that'll make it easier for other artists out there to find this information. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video.